MJ Hobby Corner here. Welcome everyone. Welcome. Uh, hope everyone is okay this evening. Uh, I have a, an update uh, to talk a little bit about uh, some of the projects going on this week and a lot of the stuff that I'm finishing up. Uh, this is a very short update and uh, I hope you guys enjoy uh, what you see. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, head over to the studio and check out some of the stuff that I was working on today and will be working on for the rest of the week. So first order of business is the Hermit Crab Biomech that I will be using for Deep Wars. And so this got a good paint job today. I used uh, the airbrush and uh, did a little bit of brushing, a little bit of, uh, used a little bit of Citadel ink washes uh, on the legs and on the weapon. Um, but basically just worked uh, a lot with the airbrush today. Uh, gave the shell a little bit of an sort of orange, uh, stripey, uh, you know, pattern there. You can see that out on, on the shell. Now this uh, is a strange little sculpture because it was made out of a real seashell. So the shell itself is a real seashell and I just sculpted the hermit crab and uh, the weapon and all the little like critters on the shell. And uh, this is going to be a really cool figure once I'm done uh, for Deep Wars. So I really can't wait. And I uh, also started painting this little fellow. Now I, I still have my kind of, I'm still on the fence about this figure. Um, but Julie likes it and that's what's important. This is going into one of Julie's war bands and it's a new deep caller. Uh, very interesting fish like humanoid. Uh, so uh, it will be a cool proxy for the game Deep Wars. And this fella is very strange. A very strange kind of shrimp-like, uh, lobster-like. Maybe a little bit of mollusk in there with all the tentacles. Uh, this critter will be going into my Dark Mariner's Warband for Deep Wars. So I started painting him today with the airbrush. And I'll be doing some more work on him very soon but at least he's being painted next in line are all the starships that you guys have seen recently uh, these are all made from clothespins for those of you that don't know clothespins and procreate clay plus a variety of other bits and materials here is one of the Raider ships, uh, one of my favorite actually. These are all the Command Level 2 starships of Mass 1 through 3 for the game Infinite Dark. And uh, so I've progressed a lot. Um, I just finished this ship today, this wooden ship. And now it's on the, uh, along with all of the other ships, it has its base coat and it's ready for painting. So now some of these ships will go to the Red Fleet, which is the uh, opponent fleet, when you're playing the solo game. And the rest of the ships, I'll have to decide which, will be the Blue Fleet or my fleet. So now for the project of the week. And this is a, uh, an artillery tank that I've been working on using the same uh, technique that I use for the starships. Uh, this is a new technique with clothespins. I'm, I'm very happy with it. And uh, I started, I finished this tank today. And I started this tank <clears throat> over the weekend. I did some work on it Monday. And today, Tuesday, I finally put in the hatch details. And uh, I really like it. Uh, this uh, technique also uses Procreate as well as <clears throat> various bits for getting the the details but most uh, most of it is done by simply cutting up uh, clothespins of various sizes and attaching them to uh, you know a hull that I make and this way giving the vehicle detail it's the first time that I really try to make vehicles this way so there it is the hatch is complete 
the artillery tank is complete and uh, this vehicle will soon be on the painting bench. There's a detail of the hatch and you can see some really close up uh, details. There's some filing there to be done, a lot of filing to be done. So once I got the filing done, I gave the tank a good little base coat. <clears throat> And uh, this is the hover tank with its little base coat. Uh, I'm getting ready to do a uh, probably a camouflage scheme. You'll see the uh, second base coat that I gave these uh, in just a moment. But uh, here you can see uh, the, some of the changes that I made to the little hover tank. If you saw the previous video where I showed this. All right. And here is the artillery tank uh, with its gray slash silver uh, base coat I kind of like to do that do like a little spritz of silver um, sometimes that's how I do my weathering I put a coat of varnish on the silver and then after I do the second base coat I actually chip it with a toothpick or something so uh, here are the both tanks both the hover tank and the uh, big artillery tank that I just finished and uh, they both have their second base coat and this is going to be part of a uh, either a desert camo or another you know kind of camouflage pattern and uh, these were base coated the second base coat was done with airbrush so you can paint these wood models with airbrush so I'll do a combination of airbrush and a paintbrush. So there is a new main battle tank and that's also part of the project of the week. I hope to finish this soon and by the end of the weekend, by the weekend that's coming, I should have a full video on all the steps that uh, I use to make this tank. Here I'm showing you a clip of the turret which I finished today and uh, also part of the hull. Okay, well that was a very short update to give you guys an idea of the work that's going on in the studio this week. The uh, main battle tank that last a uh, couple of clips that I showed uh, is going to require a lot of work. I'm hoping to finish it though in the next couple of days and hopefully by the weekend I'll have that new tank finished and that's going to be like a, a miniature super tank. That's what I'm planning. So uh, I should have a video with all the steps on uh, making a clothespin vehicle. So uh, that should be coming this weekend for anyone that's interested. So another bit of news, uh, we're on Reddit now and uh, we will be talking about this in the Martin and Julie chat that's coming this weekend, the MJ Hobby Talk. Uh, we will give more information on that on the Reddit and, and uh, our um, screen name and all that stuff. Uh, I am hoping to start a little community there so we can kind of discuss things and discuss terrain and whatever it is, whatever people want to do. Um, so we'll talk more about that this weekend, hopefully, as soon as the... Uh, MJ Hobby Talk goes up. And uh, speaking of which, the other bit of news is that Julie is working on her own little segment. Uh, I don't want to say too much about that. Julie will uh, hopefully talk a little bit about that in the upcoming MJ Hobby Talk. So stay tuned for that. She's uh, all pumped up and it'll be great to have her input in the channel as well. We'll give more information about that this weekend. All right, folks. Well, it's been a busy day, and it's time for me to relax. Tomorrow will be another work day in the studio. So I'm not sure what my uploading schedule is going to be this week. Um, but you will definitely see these projects coming to an end. So And then new projects starting next week. So... All right, folks, thank you very much. Welcome all new subscribers, and thank you for supporting the channel. Have a great night.